Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. In this video, I am going to talk about the S and P block exams for IIT jam exam. Okay, so in this video, I will talk about the last five years question paper that is jam 2014 to jam 2018, and then I will tell about some important uh, topics you have to read from this chapter. Right, so keep watching. So the first question from jam 2014. Oh, actually, jam from jam 2014, there are no question. Uh, from S and P block elements. Okay, so coming to Jam 2015. So the first question from 2015 was the common features of R B plus Krypton B R minus are uh, that they have same nuclear same number of valence electrons, same magnitude of effective nuclear charge, same magnitude of first ionization potential, are isoelectronic species. So you know from the periodic table that this is Krypton before this this is bromine and in the first group there is rb and it looks like this this is another one period and then in the next period this another group is another element is present right so for krypton br minus that is br minus means similar electronic uh, configuration like krypton and rb plus that is also similar electronic configuration like krypton so this you have uh, same electronic configurations that is they are ice and also they are isoelectronic species and that is why uh, they have the same number of valence electrons because the con electronic configurations are same like Krypton okay so thus A and D options are correct okay so now coming to jam 2016 th there was only one question from jam 2015 and coming to jam 2016 and the first question was the final products of the reaction that is BF3 plus H2O and finally, we will get H3BO3 and HBF4. Sorry for the pain. Okay. Okay. So, H3BO3 and the HBF4 will be the final product. Okay. So, option B is correct. Uh, here, I want to I want to add something that uh, there is no trick for, to answer this type of questions. Okay, you have to know absolutely know the right answer. Otherwise, you will not uh, you, you should not answer them because you may do mistake uh, in answering this type of questions. Okay, so just if you are sure, then answer this type of question. Okay, next coming to jam 2017. Okay, the first question was the correct order of boiling points of the compound is okay. So carbon, silicon, germanium, tin. This carbon silicon germanium s and tin okay so you just have to remember the correct order of boiling point and their hydrides c is for si is for g is for sn is for so this type of questions are very easy to answer okay so how to answer them suppose you don't know the right answer okay so you just from predictable you know that from top to bottom the boiling point uh, actually increases and that is uh, why I am not telling this because you know already uh, it will make the video lengthy. Okay, so boiling point increases because of Van der Waals attraction, right? So now if they form compounds, of course the compounds uh, will show uh, uh, the boiling points in, in the similar trend. That is why this has the highest boiling point and this has the lowest boiling point. To answer this type of question, there is another trick to. Uh, uh, to see the answer to to see the different options so in the first options carbon silicon germanium tin size gradually increases of this uh, carbon silicon germanium tin atom okay so there is only one option in which this trend is maintained and in case of other three options this trend actually not maintained you can see uh, the options a b c okay so option d will be the correct okay so watching the options you may find the correct options right okay so now coming to jam next question from jam 2016 the next question was the coordination number of aluminium in crystalline lcl3 and liquid lcl3 that is crystalline lcl3 and liquid lcl3 so liquid lcl3 looks like this l cl cl l cl 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 okay and it is it forms a dimer and in case of solid alcl3 the structure looks like this this is actually six member system okay so cl 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 and here also another aluminium is connected like this 
here also another aluminium and here also another Al atom. Okay, so thus, thus it shows total six coordination. So for crystalline, it has six coordination number. For liquid, it has it forms a dimer. That is, it it has uh, coordination number one, one aluminium. That is one two three four and one aluminium one two three four five. 5, 6. Okay, 6 and in case of 4. So the final answer will be C. That is 6 and 4. Crystalline 6, uh, liquid 4. Okay, so now coming to next question from GEM 2017. And the question was the number of isomeric structures of di substituted borazine that is B3, N3, Ace4, X2. Uh, the number of uh, isomeric structure and this actually will be 4. How? I am showing you say b n b n sorry this is b and this will be n so i am just drawing the first structure very carefully and in the next structure will be similar like this so x lie right here and x right here and here hydrogen 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 okay and this kind of coordinate bond possible in the system okay so this kind of coordination that is two x atom uh, present uh, consecutively in the boron and nitrogen then this x if uh, right here and hydrogen right here then we will get another and this boron and this x uh, this x and this x for this two x we will get another for this x and this x we will get another and finally another product from boron nitrogen nitrogen boron boron nitrogen here sorry everywhere it has just x right here and x right here and any others uh, boron on boron nitrogen atom there is hydrogen atom there are only hydrogen atom okay so from this boron two either two x atom right here then two x atom right here then two x atom right here three isomers and another on the nitrogen atom x atom present on the nitrogen atom another isomer so there is there are total four uh, isomeric structures possible right so next coming to jam 2018 next coming to jam 2018 and the first question was on hydrolysis aluminium carbide produces what to which of the following so aluminium carbide that is al4c3 on, on hydrolysis it gives 4 aloe sulfides plus 3 cas4 so you can see the answer will be cas4 that is the methane okay so the final answer will be methane so this kind of question you have to remember and uh, i have already i will i will tell you about the uh, system you have to read okay so just keep watching and i will tell you the systems you have to read and their reactions also okay so then last answer from gem 2018 was the correct order of melting point of the trifluorides here also same trend is phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth that is this is the trend so you have to follow only this trend and you know from that melting point and boiling point both uh, increases from top to bottom uh, in a group that is why from this to this the comp the compound corresponding compounds will show the same trend that is why the order will be this like this okay so the final answer will be a that shows the bismuth has bismuth fluoride trifluoride has the highest uh, melting point and phosphorus this has the lowest melting point okay so this is the correct answer okay so this is all about the previous year question papers and now i will i want to tell you some important questions important topics for jam 2019 and also 2021 everything so the first topic first important uh, thing about jam about this year or uh, about this year jam is about you have to remember the syllabus you have to see the syllabus which has the electron which has which ha, which is about the electron deficient compounds electron deficient compounds mainly boron and aluminium okay mainly boron and aluminium forms electron deficient compounds and we will face a lot of questions from boron and aluminium like systems as you have seen already a lot of questions from boron and aluminium like systems okay so from here you have to read the b2a6 system and this structure and reactivity okay from AlCl3, Al, from aluminium AlCl3, then AlMe3, and their structures, their uh, if they form crystalline forms, 
you have to remember the strain forms their coordination number you have seen uh, this type of questions in the previous years actually this is very important l uh, me3 okay so just remember then coming to allotropes of carbon uh, which is important allotropes of carbon uh, then diamond graphite structure from this s and p block elements then fullerene silicones and different kind of silicates you have to remember different kind of silicates that is si chain silicates this may be other another type of silicates okay so next one more important thing about s and p block elements are hydrides oxides hydroxides carbides nitrides and this kind of different kind of structure uh, compounds uh, formed by s and p block elements and their group trends that is their uh, melting point boiling point solubility this kind of comparison that is uh, uh, towards that group group trend or free, not free reactant only group trend because uh, s and p block there are, there is there are no link between the s and p block elements because uh, in between d block elements are present okay that is why you have to remember only the uh, group trends for s and p block elements okay hydrides oxide hydroxides carbides nitrides are most important and you, sh you can add uh, a lot more right so their melting point and solubility boiling point this kind of things uh, and their comparison how to how uh, this kind of how uh, these are changes along the group or period, along the group okay so i hope you have understood all this and you will get the important topics and also the all previous year uh, question papers in my blog so check over there okay so i am sorry if uh, if you are getting some noise okay so thank you thanks for watching and check the blog of course to get the important helpful notes right so thank you.